If you are making training sims or games, you will probably need to add characters. They could be as mundane as a plant foreman, or as fantastic as a steampunk alien, or anywhere between. With Creator, as any real-time authoring tool, there are rules to follow and restrictions. This next section will cover a few of the main points. I've created a character in Max with several different behaviors. The most important thing to know is that Creator does not support blending, so each behavior must be complete before exporting, and all behaviors must be in a single file. Another thing to consider is that frames in Max become fractions of seconds in real time, where frame rate is constantly varying. To this end, it is a good idea to set frame rate in Max to 25 frames per second and set keys only every fifth frame whenever possible. I've made a list of stop and start times of the behaviors for this character for use in Creator. Because I am planning on using a few smart objects to help set up my character, I will start with a key move base scene. This time when I import, I need to set animation to yes, and because I needed more than every fifth frame, I'll set the sampling to every frame. If I click play, the character will cycle through all the animations. In Creator, Bones will not move the mesh, so I need to group the mesh and the bone hierarchy together. Now I'm ready to drop the key move behaviors object onto my character. This smart object loads the behaviors needed for the game content series and adds metadata as a convenient place to define their start and end times. Next I'll drop the behavior hookup widget onto the character. As you may guess, this smart object takes the information I entered into the metadata and feeds it into the appropriate behaviors. It also hooks up temporary controls to some buttons to let me test the behaviors. If I've entered any wrong numbers, I can go directly into the animations and fix them. I can also open the animation time editor and scrub through the animations. This is similar to Max's dope sheet where keys can be manipulated. Make sure play is not turned on. Once I know the animations are correct, I will add the nav key move control smart object. This one will synchronize the key move controls and the behaviors. We'll lock the viewport to prevent navigation and key move conflicts for now, and zoom out and test the character. The speed looks a bit fast. We can go in and easily change the settings for the forward speed. For view control, I'll start with a third person view. In Creator, the animation is called View Follow Object. I'll click Play and drive the character around. Another option is the overhead scrolling camera. In Creator, you should only have one view control active at any one time, so I'll turn off the animation for the regular third person. On the chance that I may want to toggle between the two, I'll add the toggle cam smart object. Now I can use my T key to switch between views. Collision for key move objects is another topic to investigate. We'll add a short wall object from the collection. The character gets stopped at the wall or slides along depending on the angle of approach. By adding a short sound and setting it to trigger on collision, we can see that the hit may trigger multiple times. To see a useful means of dealing with this, we'll drag a score object into the scene and dissect it. We'll also need the score UI object, since it contains most of the functionality for the score objects.
the actual collision object is the data underscore object. Once hit, it moves instantly up out of collision range. A side benefit of this is that any object can be substituted for the visible mesh. If we look at the metadata associated with the collision object, we can see not only the type and hit value for the object, but the behavior it will trigger on the character. Let's add several more score and health objects to the scene. Since we only have a score UI object in the scene, we need to make sure all of the objects are also score types. We can easily select all the collision objects by using the Select by Name or Property feature. Now the metadata can be set all at once. Now we can click Play and watch as the character displays the appropriate behavior for each item on collision. Remember, any character, or piece of equipment for that matter, using imported keyframe animation is handled the same. For more information on Aspirient Creator and its smart objects, visit us on the web at www.aspirient.com.